let's just focus on one crane and one antenna operating frequency. We can always easily adapt our model to the other crane and to the other transmitter frequency. Fortunately, since the cranes are in the far field, it's not required that we model the AM transmitters in the same FTTD model as the transmitters. So we'll develop an FTTD model that just focuses on the crane itself and just the vertical part of the crane. If the cranes were in the near field of the AM transmitters, the fields would be more complex than just a plane wave, and it could be important to account for both the transmitter and the cranes in the same model. The wave from the transmitter is incident from just one direction, so it would be best to use a 3D FDTD model. We can't get away with a 2.5D model here, as we did for the last design challenge. If we consider that the crane can act like a receiving monopole antenna, then we only really need to account for the vertical dimension of the crane in our model, the part that is parallel to the transmitter. As a result, let's keep things simple and just model the crane as a vertically oriented cylinder of metal. So this will be our crane. This cylinder should be about one meter off of the ground. So this will be one meter and it will be about 60 meters long. And so this is the ground. For computational efficiency, especially since we'll be using a 3D FTTD model, we need to be careful about the size of the model so it doesn't take too long to run. Let's try to develop a model that fits tightly around the crane. So now our simulation looks like this. We still need to figure out what grid resolution to use. What should we use for our grid resolution, delta? 